end of Basel World 2018, it's one on one it's uh, time to say goodbye and to make some summaries I'm Alexander Linz head of content of watchoftheweiser.com the largest search engine for wristwatches and official retailers on the net and with me is Roger Ruiga since we are in Switzerland yes. but I think you're going to correct me now no not correct <laughs> it's just it's an extension for the colleagues in the US it's Roger Ruger <laughs> so it's, it's a little bit more complicated so you're editorial director of watchtime.com com net no dot com no dot com dot com yes dot okay. com and the magazine and the course. magazine so he is in charge of watch time in the US yes uh, Roger uh, you have as I passed uh, through the day you passed your, your last days here in Basel yep. uh, what are your impressions I felt it was a great show um, despite everyone complaining about how small it has become I think it, it has grown in quality um, it's focused, it's narrow, and I think especially the brands that we have here in Hall 1 have done a tremendous job in listening to their customers. They really have their done, uh, done their homework, and I think the collections we've seen there are just incredible. Yeah, they sell by themselves. Uh, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Okay. Um, especially okay. with a Patek ahead and Rolex behind us, we know that that stuff gonna just going to be sold out immediately, yeah, but yeah. also Hublot. Yeah, I mean the Olinsky is maybe for me personally one of the most exciting um, declinations of the Big Bang theme, and it's just it looks incredible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's um, it? No, 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 of course not. No, I mean it's it's no, no, it's looking at LVMH and starting yeah, okay, with Hublot. Okay, okay, it's, okay. Yeah. It's for me is is the innovation that comes out of the LVMH group, especially Bulgari with the thinnest tourbillon, and this also at the same time thinnest automatic movement. That's for me, is like watching a orological soccer game. We started with Bulgari, then came along Piaget, and now we're back to Bulgari with the thinnest turbio. That's just that's exciting. Okay. Uh, now we have all three months a new world record. That's really cool. But I don't want to overlook the the rest of the Octo collection. I mean, I'm sure you have seen the yeah, white the uh, white steel um, yes, Octo. Yes. We love them. The red gold. It's just yeah, we love them. Wow. And this yeah. is how contemporary orologie is is best exercise every 10 years you have a new icon yes and this is something one. and uh, if we go back the last 10 years it is a cycle of every 10 yes. years a new icon is born and i think this is the icon of the of this of this decade is the bulgari octo absolutely Finissimo. absolutely okay. couldn't agree, agree more yeah what do you think about uh, the entry price levels i think they also have done some homework that's something where i did find a lot of interesting entry-level price um, products, especially with the Swatch Group. I think um, if you look at Longines, the annual calendar, <laughs> 2,100 that euros. Is, that is amazing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's really amazing. Um, yeah. But also Tissot, Rado, uh, also Tertina. This year, I think the Swatch Group has managed to, to present something really exciting in every single price point. It's, yes. It starts with Breguet and it ends with Tertina. Yeah. And even Calvin Klein had some nice-looking pieces yeah. in the display. Uh, what do you think about the Apollo 8? Um, interesting. It's for me. It's this year is more the Seamaster, and you clearly. Yeah, of course, the Seamaster is such a star. Everybody talks about it. Absolutely. All the videos we have online are, 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 they are they are they have I don't know some fifty thousand yes. views, but. I, I very much like this new interpretation of the of the of the Speedmaster. The totally. dial you have to really take some time and look at the yep. dial. It's the back side yes. of the moon. We are talking about the dark side. So As it's really it, it, yeah, but it's it's like you know you are like if you are passing the moon. Mm -hmm. If you go and if you if you if you turn off everything you see around you and you look at the dial, yep. you have the impression you're. A, it's changing. It's, 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 yeah. We'll be, we'll be yes. back in the sense, it's, no communication to the NASA headquarters yes. and then all of a sudden, again. A blackout. <laughs> no, yeah. it's, it's an incredible watch, but I think Speedmaster is going to be next year with the anniversary yeah, coming up. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's yeah, this, yeah. This year I'm really, really, really excited. And I heard about some the rumors Master. there's going to be a new uh, Speedy Tuesday coming. I heard really? some rumors. Yeah, okay. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so, uh, anything else? I'm, uh, I'm just curious. Of course. Uh, do you, do, let me ask you something. Uh, color trends. Do you see anything that's particular in color trends? Uh, GMT has been a huge trend this year, so the, yeah, yeah, of the, course, the no. whole Pepsi combination yeah. can be found all over the place. Yeah. Um, but color trends, especially materials, um, carbon with uh, with with insertions, that's something that you see quite often. Yeah. Um, bold statements, not only with Hublot, but also with different yeah, with yeah, different yeah. brands. It is very colorful. Looking yeah. at the Chopar uh, Milamilia collection, mm -hmm. um, it's a rainbow. It's do, do you beautiful. agree that blue is the new black? 
blue has always been the new black. It's it's <laughs> it's always been one of the most popular colors among men. I, I see. A, I, I saw some green. Yes, too. And uh, if I look at the Patek, uh, the Patek Philippe booth uh, behind yep. us, I think orange color is could be a new trend color when it comes to rubber straps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but you will see. Uh, they are launching. If if Patek launches a watch with a with a with a orange strap, yep. I think this is a sign. Speaking of orange, um, a floor on top of us, Bulova has a reissue of the snorkel diver in orange that yeah. also looks yeah, really yeah, exciting, yeah. and that's. The unlimited version is 795 US yeah. dollars. Value for money, value for money. Again, and they have listened. Yeah. Also talking in the, in the upper floor, what about Nomos? Auto, Nomos. Deutsche Autobahn, I love the piece. <laughs> Nomos, Deutsche Wertarbeit. Yeah, Deutsche um, Wertarbeit. Every the, year. The watch is called Autobahn. It's uh, the Autobahn. It's one of the watches that I strongly recommend everyone to first have a look in real life. Yeah. It looks very interesting on the pictures, but it's mind-blowing in yeah. real life. It's just the depth of the dial, the color combinations. It's an amazing product. I've yeah. ju- actually, I just saw it this morning. It, yeah. It's really, really, really nice. Yeah. And it's not something you expected from Nomos? No, not at all. Not it, at all. Huh? A they very, are, they, they, it's a very nice evolution. Yeah, Esslinger did a good job, yes. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I would say that uh, you just uh, gave me a summary I wanted to hear. Honestly, Thank you. That's because no, no, it's it's we have to be positive. It would be really, uh, uh, it would really totally uh, 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 misunderstanding if you won't be you if you wouldn't be positive after it's, all we have seen here. No, it's a great show. It's smaller. It's yeah. it's but it's grown in quality. Yeah, some things have to improve still. still. But this is uh, the show management yes. has nothing to do with us. But um, this is business to business. Yes. But on the on the side of the other uh, creativity is here. Uh, there are a lot of people still. It's Tuesday, it's last day, and yes. uh, the crowds are here. And so if you want to see great watches, there is always a reason to come to Basel. Then that's a good final word. We too, we will see each other yes. even before Basel. That's yes. for clear. That's Absolutely. for sure. But we will do probably the same thing next year. Hopefully. Yeah, no, we will. Alexander, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. For having me. Thank you very much, my friend. See you soon. Uh, all the best for your editorial work in New York. Thank you. And uh, to thank you too. Yeah, we Advi- are. Advising people buying the right oh, stuff. Oh, we, we do. It, it, it's a name, you know. It's a name. And uh, yeah, the Watch Advisor. It's a good name, I think. But guys, thank you very much. Thank you, thank Roger. You. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course, and please do not forget to like our videos.